Welcome everyone, my name is Kathy Dillian. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Steve Piacenza and today on Make It With Mod Podge, everything is glitter. We are going to be exploring the five different glitter formulas of Mod Podge and we're gonna show you some of our tips and tricks for glittering with Mod Podge Ultra. We've got lots and lots of sparkly fun projects to share with you today. Yeah, today we're gonna to be starting off with the original formula and that is sparkle. We're gonna show you sparkle and we're gonna show you gold mega glitter. And then we're gonna move over to extreme glitter. We got some uh, mega silver and we have mega hologram to show you. I bet you guys had no idea that there was this many glitter formulas. No, well, you know, we did <laughs> so many projects with glitter, everything from baby shoes, the jewelry, to caps. And don't forget about our uh, party cooler. Oh yes. I mean, this, these techniques will work on wine glasses, all sorts of different projects over the years. And in fact, in our last video, we were doing some glitter projects. Well, I would say probably the last five videos. Yeah. And we keep getting questions and comments saying like, oh, what glitter is that? Oh, I didn't know there was a glitter. So we said, you know what? Let's make a video on it. Let's do all glitter. Yeah. <laughs> so, so we guys are gonna show you guys some tricks and tips and the way the glitter kind of works and the different layering, the different amounts for, um, you know, one coat, two coats, three coats, and what they look like. So this is gonna be a great video for you, for all you glitter fans out there. <laughs> so um, please be sure to ask us any questions. We will be answering your questions live in the comments. Um, so if you have any questions about the formulas or the techniques, just ask the questions and either Steve or I will respond or someone from Plaid will be, uh, be responding to you. Yeah. So shall we get started? Yeah, let's do sparkle. Let's start off with that. Okay, so we are going to start with the original glitter formula of Mod Podge, which is sparkle. And you're gonna find this in the pink label bottle. And this is one of my favorites for sealing and for paper crafts. Um, of course, like all Mod Podge, it's going to look white like that but there is a ton of sparkle in there once it dries. And I wanna show you, we made some sample boards and let's see if we can get in there and see that sparkle. So Sparkle Mod Podge is Aurora Borealis, so it's gonna pick up all the different colors in the rainbow. And on our board, we've got white, a pastel purple, and black. And I wanna show you what that looks like on all the different colors. So when you have white, it's gonna look crystally. When you have a pastel under it, it's gonna pick up whatever that color is and highlight it. And when you're over black, it's going to almost be like a starry galactic look. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna show you how you put it down. Grab a brush and I'm gonna start on the black. So this is really fun. You can see how it's very white and milky, but of course, with this one layer, it would dry just like it is right here. Now moving up, this is two layers and this is three layers. So you can see how, depending upon how much glitter you want, if you want a little bit, just brush one light coat on. If you want a lot, just keep going and keep going and adding more. Now you can also add it thick. You can do thick like this and create texture Later on, Steve is gonna show you um, this cool unicorn that we did, where we did this sort of textury glittery technique to create like, almost like unicorn or horse hair on it. Yeah, because it's a little bit more three-dimensional. So you can, the thicker you put it on, the more three-dimensional it'll be. Otherwise, you can just do a nice thin coat, which looks beautiful. And you can also sink gems or sequins or any kind of little embellishments in it at this point. Yeah. Now, one of my favorite things for um, the sparkle formula is paper crafts. So let's say you pick up a card that's very inexpensive and you wanna add a little like, you know, zhuzh to it. So just like you can see here, I'm gonna wiggle it, see if I can get that in the light. And you can see that I've just gone in and added, using a detail brush, some of the Sparkle formula to a store-bought card. So if you're making cards, you can do this trick, or if you're buying a card and you just wanna add a little extra pop to it, you can use a round brush to go in and just sort of highlight areas, just like so. And when that dries, that's going to be just like this balloon area up here. Nice and thick and crystally looking. Again, this one's gonna just pick up whatever color is underneath it. Now, if you wanna add other highlights, just use a tiny brush and you can go in 
like to the center of the flower and add just some pops, almost like as if there's a big rhinestone there. When that dries, it's gonna dry with that little bead, just like so. I hope you guys can see that. Just a great way to highlight. Yeah, just really quick. Gift and you tags. know what's so funny? Those The plain cards in the stores that are just plain are always cheaper, and the ones that have <laughs> a little bit of glitter are more expensive. Exactly. So now you know the trick. You can do it with the sparkle formula yeah. and make your inexpensive card look a little bit more expensive. <laughs> Now I also like this formula for sealing glitter. And what I mean by that is this was a paper mache dinosaur that we Mod Podged and then we sprinkled loose glitter on top of it. And then to seal it, so you have flake free decorations and home decor items, you just go in over it and you seal all that glitter down. And what I like about sealing the glitter with this formula is as you can see, it's milky there but when it dries, it almost creates even more glittery look. So it's just a really, my fit, so sparkle formula, great for paper crafts, great for sealing, great for when you want that hint of glitter on your project. Yeah, I love it, sparkle's great. And it's the original. It's the original. It started them all. <laughs> uh, why don't we move on to extreme glitter. Ooh, Let me show you that bottle right here. Extreme glitter is this one right here. Very nice, and what Extreme Glitter is, it's just like the Sparkle with the AB, but it has a lot more in it. So meaning the AB is extreme, it's <laughs> got a ton more in this. I'm sure there's like a technical ratio, like right. Sparkle has this much glitter. But, but we don't know that. We don't know this. We, we, yeah, the ratio <laughs> is a lot more. So let me show you the board here that we made. And get that in the light. Same thing Kathy showed you. This is the first layer of Extreme, right here at the bottom. And as you go up on the second one, you can see it's a little bit more. And then the third layer. Now in between coats, these coats probably take, I usually wait about 20 minutes for them to dry and then you can add the second coat on there. But you can see how it gradually, each layer actually adds a lot more to that. Um, let's open up our extreme glitter and just show you, oops. <laughs> I've got a paper towel. That's all right. So let's get right down here and I'm gonna show you right on top of our board here. I'm gonna start with the black also. And we're just gonna go across. And again, like Kathy said, it's kind of that galactic look. You can see right up here, just a nice thin layer and it goes on milky, it will dry. And we wanna show you here over the patina, which is also a nice look. Again, your projects are gonna be different than ours and you're gonna be using it for different reasons and different colors. So explore the different colors because the colors really make a difference underneath all of these um, glitters. Yeah, the Very base pretty. coating I think is important. Yeah. The, the base coat is really, especially with these Aurora Borealis or, or oh, hologram. Yeah. Because they pick up what color's on um, underneath it, which is beautiful. And I wanna show, see. let's see if we can go in. We'll line it up like that and hopefully the camera. There you go. No, this way. Oh, the black and black. Yeah, uh -huh. so this right here, that will show you that that is the sparkle formula and you can see how much glitter is in there. So just the hint of glitter. This is the extreme glitter. Look how much more in just one layer. This is one layer, so much more glitter. I hope yeah. that's showing on the camera. Got it? Okay, great. Um, let me pick this up a little bit. <laughs> I wanna show you Making messes. something <laughs> else that you could do with the extreme glitter and Ooh, that I is love I love this. that is using mason jars jelly jars jam jars any type of glass this is a really fun project to do and really easy using the extreme glitter let's see if we can get in and really see those those sparkly colors there this is such a fun you can use recycled jars now these are great it's for a, it's all lights. on the inside so everything's done on the inside. And remember, when you're using these, you can put lights in them. You don't want to put any water or any type of food because the Mod Podge you'll, you'll um, glitter is inside, right? So uh, battery operated tea lights are perfect. Silk flowers, makeup brushes, you know, pins, art supplies. It's really fun, but I, I love these with tea lights. They're just so beautiful lit up. So what I'm gonna do is you're gonna take the extreme glitter. Here we go. And I'm just gonna pour some in a plastic cup. Like so, and then I'm going to add food coloring. Now you can use whatever color you want. 
I'm doing blue today, but again, you can see that there's purple and there's green there. And on this one, I'm gonna add, oh, I don't know, about three drops. It's really to your eye, so. Totally. I know that sometimes the colors look completely different. You can see that mixing in there. Like purples look kind of gray when they're wet and then they dry this beautiful, vibrant purple. Yeah, you just kind of have to play around with the formulas. And mix it up, and once you finish doing that, you're going to. Oh wait, I'm making a mess over here. Do you have a paper towel? Steve making a mess. What? what? <laughs> Look at nothing on my shirt yet. <laughs> then you're gonna easily pour it right into your mason jar, and don't worry about putting too much in there because you're just gonna tip it over and recycle all of this in to another jar if you'd like. And then we're spinning it. Well, I can just already see like some so. of the sparkles. And you probably can see those sparkles happening already. And you're gonna work all the way down. Now these are really fun for weddings. We added the blue color to this, but if you're thinking about a summer wedding or something, or even winter, you can just do the plain extreme glitter without adding the color. And that creates these beautiful sparkly, you know, uh, candle containers. Again, battery operated candles. Yeah, these are so much fun. I'm sure you guys you can, can think string. of a lot of different things to use these for. Hang them in trees, I mean it's endless. Then, once you're done, I just take these disposable trays. You can, you know, get any type of bowl that you might have, any kind of craft bowl, and you're just going to tip it over, like so, and you're gonna let that dry overnight. I like to let it dry for about 24 hours, and then in the morning when you wake up, you're gonna get <laughs> something like this. And look at how pretty. Let's show that one more time in the light, Eddie. Can you see that? It's so sparkly. Spinning around. Eddie's our cameraman, not calling Kathy Eddie. <laughs> there we go. And here's the purple one. So you guys can have a lot of fun with these. Super inexpensive way to make a bunch of these. These are great on mantles, tables, parties, festivities, celebrations, all sorts of things. So I love this idea too because it's a different way of thinking of Mod Podge and you know the glitter formulas. Yeah. It's like it works great on paper and it works great on paper mache projects and stuff like that, but such a fun way. And again, right. we did do some we did some other similar projects um, like this that have just been so fun yeah. to do. And if you have any questions, please ask us on this project or anything you're seeing oh, yeah. throughout the video. And make sure that your projects, you're tagging plaid crafts in them and Mod Podge so we can see what you're making. Yes. Okay, next up, we're going to start with the Mega Glitters. Now, the Mega Glitters are the newest glitters to the Mod Podge family. And it comes in three colorways. We have gold, we have hologram all the way over here, and we have silver. And what's different about Mega Glitter is that it comes with many different sizes of glitter in it. So your sparkle and your um, extreme glitter are the same size as the glitter, which is a fine glitter. Your Mega Glitters are gonna have big chunky mm -hmm. pieces and fine pieces mixed in. And that creates this incredible look I just, I love it. It's Mega. so sophisticated, almost marbled. Yeah. This and this is, is two, two coats. Yeah, two yeah. coats over a gold base coat. So we gold base coated and then two coats. You could do four coats, five coats, you know, it, it's whatever your preference is. And we were, we just stopped here because we thought this is so Enough, beautiful. Yeah. A little bit more sophisticated than maybe an all over glittered look. So for the gold mega glitter, I want to show you what that looks like. Of course, it's got a gold label. And true to form, you can see how much is in there. Usually Mod Podge looks white. This looks gold. <laughs> so let's go ahead, look at how thick and it is. And this is thick. Yeah, very look thick. Look at that lid. I mean, it is loaded with all different size glitters in there. So if you're doing tumblers or things like that, this would be the, the go-to formula for you. So again, we've got our white, our base coat of gold, and our black to show you what it's like. If you go over, you can immediately see yeah. those different sizes. You know what I love about the Mega Glitters, the, especially the gold and the silvers, is the way it, when it when you brush it on, it's almost like gold leaf going down. Exactly, well that's how I feel about the, the planters that we did. They yeah. look like gold leafing or silver leafing. So that's one coat there. And then let's just go over and see, it looks kind of gray and milky right now but that's gonna dry just like this here. So going up our scale, this is one coat, this is two coats, 
and this is three coats. And you can just do as many coats as you want. I give about 10 minutes dry time in between, um, you know, just, just to let it settle. If you're doing a brush on like this, if you're doing it real thick, you would just wanna wait until it's dry before you add that second coat. And like the other formulas, you can do a thick textured style if you want to add, you know, definition. This is fun if you're doing, you know, mixed media or you're doing a painting or something and you wanna add texture and glitter to it. You wanna add a little kiss to an ocean wave or something. That's a really fun way to do it. Just kind of tap it on. And we made a sample board to show you what layers look like. So down at the bottom here, one layer over our base coat of gold. Moving up, two layers, three layers, four layers, five layers, and six layers. So that will show you all the different, depending upon how glittery you want something to look. Yeah, I think six layer is almost solid. Yeah, I know. You know? It looks like you sprinkled it on, but yeah. look. Nothing. No yeah, oh, that's a really good point. <laughs> this is, things. once it's on your project, it doesn't move. No. So no flaky glittering, uh, flakes of glitter anywhere. And yeah. we talked about sealing earlier. Any of these formulas can be used for sealing. So I have shaken glitter, gold glitter on a project. I'll go in and seal it with yeah. the gold mega glitter. Yeah. Like, you know, it's just, it's, it's such a great way. And nobody wants to get something or go to a party and then have, you know, end up with glitter all over themselves. Well, not Unless it's makeup glitter. <laughs> you don't want this kind of... Okay, uh, let's move on to hologram. I love this Now one. this is hologram. Let me show you what the hologram looks like. You can see that, how pretty that is. The hologram has a bunch of different colors in it. Look at how beautiful that is. So you can see again, here is our first layer. Here's our second layer in the middle. And here's the third layer. And you can really see how intense that is by the time you get down to the third layer. It really covers it nicely. There's something so magical about it over the black, too. Oh, isn't it? Well, yeah, it's because it's very, like uh, like we said, galactic, yeah, like star. starlight. Yeah, this is a great project that we did with the um, hologram, uh, the mega hologram. And this one here is we put on thick. If you guys can maybe see that texture, we tap this on really thick. So it kind of looks like... Um, you know, it's got a three-dimensional feel. Not that it looks like the unicorn's hair, but <laughs> it gives it a little bit yeah. more of the texture on more texture. Uh, whatever projects you want to work on. And then this is an example here of where we just lightly brushed it on. Mm -hmm. So that's just over white. That's two coats of the Mega Glitter Hologram. And here is our little succulent holder. Um, and this is two coats we decided to put on. Again, if you want it a little bit heavier, more of that hologram look, you just add another uh, layer right on top of it. And the great thing about all these glitters also is they blend so nicely together. There's not like spots where it's heavy and like oh, no. less or lighter. It's all around and it works really, really well. And we're doing them over the planters, but any of these techniques you can do over your paper projects. Mm -hmm. We've even done them on um, cowboy hats over fabric Mod Podge. So, I mean, it's really endless. Whatever, you know, whatever project you're working on, you're gonna be able to work these glitters into it. So here, we're gonna just show you right here again. We're using, um, we have the black, but we also have the folk art baby pink. Um, you can see how the mega hologram goes on so nice and evenly. Just right across there, look at that. Just even all the way across. I love that. Yeah, it's very, very easy to apply. Very easy to apply. And of course it works great with folk art paints. So there's a lot of different colors out there and I've always said, you know, have fun, you know, using the glitters with all different kinds of folk art paints, different colors. They all look different. So there we go. So again, this is on canvas, but these are great for, um, you know, house projects, like- um, I love it for home decor. Home decor projects. Um, we've done it, again, <laughs> we've done it on everything. <laughs> like I said, even baby shoes. You name so it, we've can, done it. <laughs> yeah, we've, we've done it all. So that is the Mega Hologram. Let me show you this bottle right here, just so you guys can visually see it of a plain bottle it's just the white bottle but you just want to make sure you check up here on top for the hologram and you can see right down here it says mega so the mega hologram that's this one here beautiful this one has i think the most different uh, amounts of color in it yeah because the ab it really yeah. picks up all the different colors of the rainbow around it so whatever 
base color you have, it's this hologram formula is just gonna complement that. Yeah. It's just gonna bring it out. Pretty. And we have silver. Yes. I'm gonna show a, a trick with the silver. We showed this in our video last week. Can you grab the silver up there? Um, this is pretty color too. So, oh no, the, the Mod Podge. The Mod Podge. So last week we did um, these Valentine candy heart boxes. I hope you guys saw that video. If you didn't, um, of course it's archived at YouTube and on Plaid's Facebook channel. And Steve's gonna show you on the boards what this one looks like, but any of these glitters can be used for edging too. So this was one of the projects that we did last week, but I just wanna repeat it since we're here. You just wanna use a little flat brush and you can go in and edge out any of your projects. And you can see it looks kind of gray and milky right now, but when it's dry, it's gonna dry just like that, just like a, you've sprinkled glitter on or something. So if you wanna just add tiny details to a project, just get you know the right type of brush for edging. I like a small flat brush. Dip it in. Just go ahead and edge out your project. Yeah, and here again is another succulent. We did we did the um, succulent uh, holders in all of our formulas. Here is two coats of that also, so you can see how it does look like leafing. I think that's the like great like description. Yeah. It's like and of course, leafing. if you wanted Silver that leafing. solid glitter look, you just add a few more coats. And here it is. Here's the Valentine's we did last week. So just to show you. This is um, layers of it, but we put it on kind of thick and you can see how pretty that is. It covers beautifully and we just added this flower. So again, you can do all sorts of different projects with these glitter formulas. Here is the board for the Mega Silver. Here we go again. Here is our first layer right over here. You can see that it's um, pretty even all the way across the second layer and then of course the third layer on top and how it gradually, every layer that you put on, adds a lot more of that glitter. So we just go across one more time, and there you can see the amount of glitter. And every project's gonna be different. You know, more is not always better. Yeah, it's just your personal. You know, it's, it's whatever project you're using it on, and look at that over the black. I know. I'd... Isn't that incredible? Look at that. Well, I love how oh. over the black you can really see the different sizes yeah. of glitter. That and that's the difference between, I mean, that's how using the different colored folk art paints underneath it, mm -hmm. got to kind of play with them because the silver and the black look amazing together. Yeah, very. So very that's cool. those. Look at that. Okay. So those are the five formulas, the glitter formulas of Mod Podge. And we want to show you, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the new Ultra Mod Podge. This came out last year, it's Mod Podge in a spray bottle. And every time we bring this out, people go, what? A what spray bottle Mod Podge? Yes. This is my favorite thing for glittering 3D objects. And what I mean by 3D objects is something like this, a little dollar store bunny rabbit, or if you have um, some sort of thrift shop thing and you wanna just kind of, we did the toy dinosaurs before. Mm -hmm. So if you wanna do something that's more like a 3D thing, in the past, you would have, let's find a, I don't have a clean brush. You would have brushed on your Mod Podge and sprinkled it on and that kind of thing. This is if you want to work with loose glitter. So we've got some loose glitter here that we're going to work with. And um, when it's done with the, the spray glitter, this is how you get this beautiful, even look. There's no clumps. If you brush on sometimes these 3D objects, you might get a big hump or something like that you get this even coverage all the way around. Yeah, and my favorite is once it's sealed with the Ultra, no flake. Yes, yeah. once no it's flake. sealed though. <laughs> once it's sealed. So I'm gonna show you how to do that with the Ultra. Now here is, this one here is our step out. So here's the plain bunny, and we wanna add it to be a glittery bunny like that using loose glitter. All you're gonna do is you're going to spray it this is what's so shocking to me. Like how fast. <laughs> how fast. And we like to use a tray like this just to catch any overspray. That's for the overspray. And then we're gonna use a piece of paper so we can recycle our glitter. And you're just going to drop it. I'm just gonna do one side for you guys. And you're just going to add the glitter right on top of that. And if you ever missed a spot, you would just spray more and do glitter again. And then tap it off. Look at that. Pretty cool. 
Oh, well, why don't I just do the whole thing? Yeah. <laughs> I know. I'm like, these would be really cute on my mantle. Please finish. <laughs> Easter's coming. <laughs> I know the girls are going to want these pink bunnies. <laughs> okay, so let's finish this off. Get glitter everywhere, right? Oh. And this is the ultra fine glitter. Of course, you can use chunky glitter. You can oh. use... We did this very cool um, candle holder using the ultra and what I would call like almost confetti size uh, glitter that was clear is beautiful. Yeah, and if you miss a couple spots, you just go right on over with the ultra and there you have it. That's a fast craft. That's a fast craft. So see how I missed that little foot right down there? I would come over here. Let's give it a quick spritz. Come back. Add the glitter right on top of that. Tap it off and there you go. So you'd want to check your whole entire bunny. Make sure all the spots are, um, you know, with all your glitter on top of it. Let this Come dry. On, we gotta say it. What? Full coverage. Full coverage. Full coverage always. <laughs> but look at that. Let that dry and then seal it with the Ultra. Let's put this over here. I have I'll take your my glitter. last bunny. This one's a little bit of a step out. So this one, we com we um, completed, when did we finish that? Last night. Last night. Last night. <laughs> so this one still has, you can see, kind of the flakes coming off of it. So now what we want to do with the Ultra is seal it. So you're just going to go around, spray your bunny, or whatever you're working on. That's it. And set it aside and let it dry overnight. And that's it. It will be glitter free. It'll completely <laughs> seals the whole entire thing. So nothing will um, nothing will come off of yeah, it at flake all. Flake free. Flake free. No glitters. No glitter. There we so, um, gosh, okay guys, thank you so much for joining us today. Yeah. Are we done? Well, well we're done, but yeah. I want to just sort of recap. So um, in case you missed the beginning, a couple of things, please ask us any questions. And we're probably going to do a watch party for this uh, video on the weekend. So if you want to watch it live with us, you'll be able to do that on the weekend. And uh, we did five glitter formulas today, plus what we just finished up with was showing you glittering with Ultra, which is our favorite for 3D embellishments. Yes. So we showed you about the Sparkle formula. This is the original formula. We did Really these. fun for paper crafts and sealing projects. We did Extreme Glitter. And Gold Mega Glitter, one of my favorites. Silver Mega and mega hologram. So we hope that you guys have enjoyed this quick tutorial today. Please leave us any comments. Be sure to tag Plaid Crafts and Mud Podge so you guys can get featured on Fan Friday. And we will be back here yeah. next Thursday with another fun video for you. And show us those projects. We'd love to see them. <laughs> have a sparkly day. See you guys.